Right, hello guys, I'm Kyle and today I'm going to be teaching you how to install Minecraft Forge 1.7.10 for Minecraft version 1.7.10. Uh, because I do plan on adding the modifications to Anowin, uh, it will be required for, you know, all of you users to install uh, Forge and any necessary mods. And it's pretty simple. Uh, not so much for you Mac users, but we'll get to you. No worries. You know, the two of you that exist for our server. Alright, so first off, let's go ahead and uh, download Forge. You can see up here the uh, website is files.minecraftforge.net. And when you get here, should be familiar, go to 1.7.10 recommended and click installer win it's going to take you to adfly just wait wait for the five seconds you can do it come on all right then skip the ad not that i'm advocating that you skip ads i'm just skipping the ad All right, install client. Now you're going to have need to uh, to run Minecraft 1.7.10 at least once before you can do this. And if you haven't, then it's just going to tell you that you have to do it. Okay. Let it do its thing. Well, while we're waiting on that, let's go and install, or download, I should say, uh, Balkan's Weapon Mod. Now, you can search around the internet until you get to this page, but this is the page that you want to end up at. You can look over in the top left, it's uh, www.minecraftprojects.net slash mods slash Balkans hyphen weapon mod. And uh, you can just type that in, or you can look around for a while. But you're going to end up here and you're going to click this right here not the advertisement buttons that say download those are always too good to be true you have to find the little grayed out download link keep it and now you got the dot jar don't click that let's go see how the installer is doing successfully installed client profile forge Okay. I'll probably have to restart my Minecraft. It's fine by me. This is much easier than it used to be. Okay, see? So now, where it says profile, you should see forge. And that should be all good to go. You can go to edit profile and make sure that the latest version of Forge is installed just in case you've already done this a while back or something and you have an old version of Forge on here. And then while you're in here you can also uh, change up you know how much RAM is used and you can change up what version your regular profile uses. Just up to you. By default Minecraft uses one gig and you can change that right here. Okay well anyhow um, before you start this up, you can go ahead and uh, see that dot jar you got? You're going to go put it into your mods list. To do that, go to Programs and Files and type in percent symbol app, AA, no, APP, and then data. So, percent app data. And then hit enter. Yeah, there we go. Go to dot Minecraft, and then hmm, there should be a mods folder. Oh, it's because I haven't run it yet. There we go. Let's go ahead and run it once with uh, Forge. See, I'm just doing this right now too for the first time because I reinstalled Windows and all that whatnot. There we go. See that mod just appeared. 
some other stuff. You can also put resource packs in uh, through this method too. Resource packs folder, just drop the dot zips in there. Okay, now that this is up, see three mods loaded. It's really just the basic forge stuff. You just exit out. Get that uh, weapon mod dot jar and drop it into the mods folder. All right, let's start up our Minecraft again. Sorry if I've been at all confusing. You can just feel free to ask me. Most of you viewers will probably be members of Anawin, so uh, feel free. If you're not Anawinian and you have no idea what I'm talking about with that strange ass word, then uh, I don't know. It's a server. It's a Minecraft server. Glad to help you nonetheless. All right, so let's go single player. Uh, new world, sure. Just to test out and see if that mod installed properly. Actually, you know what? We should probably go ahead and just make a new one. Creative. Mod test. All right. Come on. All right, there we go. Let's go and check the weapons. Yep, there they are. Now by default, these look terrible. Um, I think, but I just don't like default. See, there you go. Put your gun, your halberd, all these different weapons. I could create a video on how to use all these and whatnot, but you can just look that up. Or learn the hard way like you did with all the other stuff. Alright, well, that's about it. Happy to have helped. See you online.